Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, today I'm going to show you some of the customizations I've done um, in recent months. Um, actually, it was a few months back, but uh, I'm finally getting around to doing a video on it. Um, some of them are just repaints. Others are... Um, have some additions made to them, uh, but we'll be looking at a uh, He-Man um, Masters of the Universe Origins figure that I've customized, along with some of the Lightning Collection Power Rangers figures I've customized. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And if you like what you see, if you like the customizations and everything, let me know. Um, if they inspire you, let me know that too. things first let's go ahead and start with my custom figures uh, so for these these are completely custom um, this is the gold lion uh, my reimagining of Adam Park uh, with some new powers I used the White Rangers helmet uh, as you can see I painted most of it black I added gold over where the uh, tiger lion slash face is. Uh, and I think it looks a little bit better than the um, that color inside that they originally had it. Um, I also used a shield from uh, Dino Thunder White Ranger. Um, this shield was very poorly made. I got it off of eBay and it broke as literally as soon as I got it. I left a very bad review for the uh, creator. Um, yeah, just horrible. And I also used the Gold Ranger's body and I added um, gold paint over where it should actually be gold rather than that ugly which you can kind of see. I need to go back over it um, and then do a clear coat over top because anytime I handle it, which is why I'm doing it like this now. Uh, the paint kind of comes off. I use paint markers uh, to do it. So I'm, I'm going to have to go back over it, all these figures, uh, and then do a clear coat over top of them. But that's the gold lion. As you can see, I even painted Saba. Gold lion ranger Adam Park. Uh, this is the White Dragon. This is Tommy Oliver. Um, this would be what would happen if Tommy's White Ranger and Green Ranger powers would have uh, combined um, in a more, um, I guess, healthier way than Dracon, Dragon. Um if it was combined together by Zordon and Ninjor rather than forced together by Dracon. Um, as you can see, I used Green Ranger's helmet. I painted white with gold accents, red jewel, and a green visor. Uh, this was my first custom I had done. Uh, so, I mean, the paint job's not terrible, but it could be better. I also painted the Dragon Shield gold, and I used the Metallic Armor White Ranger body. And as you can see, I added the gold to the uh, all the uh, bracers and stuff, and to Saba there. Thought that looked pretty cool. Um, and I even I had an extra um, Yellow Ranger morpher. 
uh, that I glued onto the belt so that it actually looked like a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers belt rather than the, um, oh, I forget which Sentai season that was. Um, but yeah, I need to go over the inside of the morpher and make it white. Um, but yeah. And then we have here the Alpha Ranger. Um, this would be my imagining of the very first Power Ranger. Uh, the inspiration for Al the Alpha series robot. Um, as you see, I used uh, Red Ranger's body with the Gold Ranger's belt. And I painted him to look to resemble Alpha 5, minus the lightning bolt in the chest. Um, he needs to be repainted again, uh, just like the others. As you can see, you can tell some of the paint is coming off anytime I handle it. He needs dusted really bad, too. I, I don't move these figures that often because anytime I mess with them, uh, as you can see, the paint kind of comes off. So I do need to go back over them and do a clear coat. But that is the Alpha Ranger, the White Dragon, and the Gold Lion Rangers. Um, now let me take you to the uh, my home gym where I have my other customizations. All right, so here we have Lightning Collection figures. Um, we're going to start off on this end with Cat. Uh, this is the Amy Jo jo or Kimberly Hart body with Catherine's head. As you can see, I had to use part of her ninja um, hood uh, to kind of conceal the fact that the neck is too long for the head. Uh, I've really struggled finding a Catherine uh, figure. Um, and when I do, they are just too expensive for my liking. Um, so that's what I did there. I used the ninja head with the hood as well. Uh, up next, we have Adam Park with the overdrive. Uh, I think it's Operation Overdrive Power Harness. Uh, I didn't watch that season. All I watched was the Once a Ranger episode. And as you can see, I painted it gold and silver rather than the Operation Older Overdrive colors. Um, and again, I have to re I have to go back over all of these, the paint jobs on all these, um, and do a clear coat over top because anytime I handle them, uh, the paint does come off. Um, then we have Billy. As you can see, I used the White Ranger vest. I painted it gold and silver. Really like that look. Um, it did look good with just the gold and black, but I wanted to kind of make them a little, each one a little bit different so that they didn't all have the same vest. And I would like to get um, uh, off of... Uh, uh, I'm having a brain fart. I would like to get each of their individual coins to put on their chests uh, to replace the White Rangers uh, symbol in the center there. Uh, and then we have Trini. As you can see, it's all gold. Again, needs repainted, as you can see, and clear-coated. Um, I added gold to Tommy um, to kind of conceal that really hideous gold-ish color that it came from the factory. Um, yeah, and I really like the way it turned out. Again, I just have to go back over it and clear coat um, so that it stays. And we have Jason. I put the Gold Rangers shield on him. Um, if I could find a way to combine the gold ranger shield with the dragon shield i would um and use that instead i also made his sword gold i don't know if you can tell that there and i uh added gold to the staff 
Uh, if I could, I would change out his legs and arms so that he had the uh, bracers of the Gold Ranger um, and paint the black red. Um, I think that would look really good. Um, and then Tommy, once again, I just painted gold. And then here we have Kimberly. I added the Dino Thunder White Rangers shield. Um, same, same thing. I purchased two of those shields. Um, this one came out a little bit better than the first one. Um, but it's like a harder, um, almost like a styrofoam type plastic. So it's very brittle. Um, it went on her, Kimberly pretty well because she's so small, but if I had put it on any of the other Rangers, uh, it would have done the same thing as the other one. Um, then we got Zach. I made his shield gold and silver, uh, just so that it was different from Tommy's. And then I added gold to the gold Ranger. Uh, it really pops. Um, I even took the shield off and did the Zeo pattern underneath gold as well. Uh, you can't really tell here unless you look at the neck part. Um, but yeah, it turned out really well. I liked it. I like it. Um, and I also customized some helmets here. Um, purple. Uh, I think that's silver. Uh, another gold line, and then an orange. Uh, I'm still considering uh, repainting Catherine and Aisha, um, as well as Adam, maybe. Um, I, I, I would like to do Catherine purple, Aisha orange, and Adam... I don't know, I'd kind of like to do gold and have them part of the original Mighty Morphin team. I still got to get Rocky, but he's very hard to find. And when you do find him, he's very expensive, which I don't understand because he's not that popular of a character. Um, so I do have to get Rocky. If you guys come across Rocky fairly cheap, let me know. Um, I did come across the uh, Rocky in the ninja form at Target uh, a little over a year or so ago. And I passed on him at the time. I should have uh, got him because I didn't realize how hard he would be to find after that. Um, there's my custom Power Rangers. And now let's go with He-Man. Um, this is the Filmation version. Uh, that came out before the Origins figures came out. Um, I think Super 7 did it. I'm not sure, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, all I did was... I colored his belt. I painted his belt gold and silver. Um, added a little bit of red under that because I got a little bit of gold paint on his toga. So I tried to match it as best I could. I painted the cross red and his harness silver. Uh, his bracelets I painted gold. Uh, his shield, I know you can't really see it now. Um, let me. I painted silver uh, with a little bit of red on the rivets. Or a little bit of gold on the rivets and red on the inside. And his sword... I painted the handle black, the hilt gold, a uh, little bit gold on the accent, and the rest of it silver. And I did that all the way around. Turned out pretty good. Again, I'm going to have to um, do a clear coat on him, uh, just like with the Power Rangers ones. Um, I wish I would have thought to do that uh, originally, but, you know. It is what it is. Um, when I have more time, I'll do the repaints and clear coats. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my customizations. 
Um, I had never actually tried customizing figures until um, my first one was the uh, White Dragon Ranger, and I just kind of fell in love with customizing. Um, I know for the uh, Power Rangers, um, especially Trini, I should have probably gotten a female version of the vest because it is kind of big on her. And if you move her around, it shakes quite a bit. Um, but I mean, since I don't really play with them, they're just kind of on display. I think it works okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the shield fully gold or not. Um, part of me would like to do like another color, maybe do, um, keep the inside itself gold or, and do like the pads silver, maybe like the opposite of Billy's, uh, since Trini and Billy were best friends. I don't know. Um, I would like to get a 3D printing machine, um, maybe eventually, and then I could print my own shields off and customize them. Um, I know there's a guy who does, um, he 3D prints the shields and the accessories and stuff and uh, helmets that are like that. Um, they're just so expensive because they're coming all the way from, I think, Finland or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, Ranger Forge, I think is the name of it. Um, I would eventually like to get a different shield for Kimberly. Um, maybe made out of the same material as the other shields. Because it just kind of looks out of place. But I would like to stick with the Dino Thunder White Ranger shield um, as much as possible. And I do want to get Zane. Um, and maybe the, uh, the rest of the uh, Rangers in Space. Um, but this is my main collection. I know uh, Lightning, the Lightning collection is currently on hold. I don't know if they're ever going to bring it back or not. I hope they do because I would like to get some of the other figures from the other seasons and stuff um only time will tell uh like i said i would i think in order to complete this collection um i would like to get rocky and maybe an actual catherine figure rather than the uh, frankenstein together parts of catherine and kimberly um but it's good enough for now so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out one of these two playlists for more videos just like the one you just watched. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.